My name is Asad Yaqub and I'm your IELTS speaking examiner. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mustaine Asad. Can I see your ID yeah, card sure please? Why not? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you work or are you a student? Uh, I am a student of class 10th. I just got free from my 9th exams recently. I am a student of class 10. Okay. Yeah. So we start the test. Are you yes. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Where do you usually watch TV programs or TV shows? Uh, I usually watch TV programs in my living room. I've got a 55 inches LED smart TV. So I like to watch uh, TV programs on that. I also prefer watching movies on Saturday night on that. Good. What's your favorite TV program or TV show? Uh, my favorite TV program is the Discovery Channel because it gives a lot of information. It just helps us to get, a, it just helps us to know about nature. It gives us very good details and it also it also helps a person to get fresh by showing beautiful by showing beautiful sceneries of nature okay are there any programs or shows you don't like watching uh, no i don't think so there are any programs or shows that i don't like watching uh, because <coughs> because there are no such programs on our tv that are not worth watching so all of them are good so okay. I don't dislike any TV program. All right. Will you watch more or fewer TV programs in the future? Uh, I think so that in the near future I will just I will reduce the t number of TV programs I watch because according to the because as I will grow up uh, my work routine will also get tougher and I will like get less time less free time to just uh, get into these kind of activities. So okay. I will watch less TV programs. Do you think children should watch TV? Yeah, I think so. Children should watch TV, but their parents should keep a special eye on them. So, because TV programs also help children to get see their f favorite programs like cartoons, but parents should have a strict eye on their children. Okay. Uh, now we move on to IELTS speaking part two. Yeah. You will have to talk about the topic for one to two minutes. Uh, you have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes to help you if you wish. Uh, this is your topic and this is the paper and pen thank you Okay, so you'll now have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. Yes, Your sure. time starts now. Uh, the person who I know who has just recently started uh, a business is my uncle. He is actually my mother's brother. He has just started his mobile business. He got free from his uh, education. So he, after, after reference from some of his friends and discussing it with his family, he, started, he decided to start a mobile business. Uh, he buys and sell, sells mobiles. He has got all kinds of mobiles. He also uh, he also just repairs old mobiles which are not working properly. Uh, and he decided to choose this uh, business because it gives a lot of profit uh, and it keeps a person and a person has no tension while doing while doing this business because I don't think so there is any loss in this kind of business. He buys mobiles from the market and he just sells it in his city. He has got a shop. Uh, and uh, I think so that I would not like to start this kind of business. This is because the business he does uh, is very hectic. He has to just cut off from his normal routine and he has just to fo he has to focus on his work very much because because it is a very hard job and he has to just look after everything. He has to keep his ma mind active and he has just to focus on what his customers have said. He goes, he has to visit other cities to get mobiles. He has also got other things like import export that makes a person very busy and he has to cut off from his normal routine. So I don't think so I will start such a business or something. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can I get the pen and yeah, paper back? You. Uh, we now move on to IELTS speaking part 3. Uh, my first question is, what kinds of jobs do young people not want to do in your country? The kinds of job, jobs young people do not want to do in my country nowadays like are the jobs which are very hectic, which make a person feel tired. Like most of the young people nowadays would avoid jobs like mm, which make, the, like most of the young people would not, prefer not to be a teacher. 
बिकॉज बींग अ टीचर इज़ अ वर्क ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो गिव अ लॉट ऑफ टेंशन एंड द यंग जनरेशन नाउ डेज इज़ नॉट इन फेवर ऑफ टेकिंग सम सो मच टेंशन दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू हैव अ रिलैक्स लाइफ विच गिव दैम गुड पे ऑल्सो ओके हु इज़ बेस्ट एट एडवाइजिंग यंग पीपल अबाउट चूजिंग अ जॉब teachers or parents uh, i think so that the best person to advise students while choosing their job are their parents because teachers they change about every year they have they know that what is the ability of the children they also know that what this children is capable of but still i think so that teachers change so the current teacher does not know the students past the few, and what he can do the parents know that the because they are always with the student they know that what is our son, our child capable of what can he do better so that's why students are the parents are better to advise them is money always the most important thing when choosing a job i uh, know i don't think so that money is the most important thing because the most important thing while choosing a job is a person's interest if a person takes interest in his job then he will be only able to work properly and if a person just works for money then he won't be able to be successful he won't be able to be successful okay do you agree that many people nowadays are under pressure to work longer hours and take less holiday Yeah nowadays many people are under this pressure because because of the increased rates and the, the things nowadays are very expensive so the people have to meet their ex, the people have to meet their ex, uh, expense and they have to keep a good economic system that's why they try to work more so that they can get extra pays and salaries What is the impact on society of people having poor work life balance the people who are having poor work life balance has uh, i think so negative effect on the society because those people make the economic system of the country come down and the government should take special steps for these people these because of these people uh, because of these people the country's economic system comes down and the country is considered as a poor country okay could you recommend some effective strategies for government and employers to ensure people have a good work life balance Uh, the government should keep a special eye on the on the employees and the employees should also work properly the employees should work whole heartedly so that they can get so that they can have good pays and they can work well but nowadays the employees they just work for money and they just want to get free from the office as quickly as possible okay you should just word employees employees employer is the person who gives the job yes. okay that's all uh, that's the end of your ielts speaking test thank you very much may you have a fantastic thank day you. thank you good job thank you. okay so this uh, was a wonderful test and uh, i would appreciate once again mustain asad because i never talked to him this way and he impressed me also literally i'm thank impressed you. thank you uh, for part 1 he answered very well why because when the question was are there any programs or shows you don't like watching he answered he expressed will you watch more of your tv programs in the future he used proper sentence structure he used proper tenses proper language and uh, the good thing is his answers were really crispy answers to the point according to the question and all that in part 2 uh, the topic was describe someone you know who has started a business and he talked about his uncle and he talked very well about him and then he mentioned who this person is what work this person does why this person decided to start a business and all that uh, there were few mistakes i would call them few minor mistakes in your conversation in your language and these were the mistakes like the use of pronoun and all that stuff then in part 3 uh, you answered very well why because he explained i was not expecting that much from you right but still you answered very well especially the question who is best at advising young people about choosing a job teachers or parents your answer was quite good and then i ask you another question do you agree that many people nowadays are under pressure so that question could be difficult for you because you don't have any experience and all that but still you handled very question this time looking at your performance looking at the mistakes you did the minor mistakes and all that uh, i would allot you 7.5 bands in speaking it's better than the previous one why 7.5 because most of the time there is no hurdle in communication you express your ideas very well you use appropriate words okay you use appropriate language and even at times you use the complex structures as well so that's why it, i'm i'm just going to allot you band score 7.5 so guys that's all 
if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel i run another channel is said yakub vlogs you can subscribe to that channel as well and i also teach ielts online if you want to join my online ielts classes you can contact me for that asad yakub and mustain asad wish you all, all the, the best, best. take, take care, care. allah, allah hafiz, hafiz.